got some major drama. Caution, in this video, you will experience a seizure of bright lights and fuzzy camera quality. Thank you, enjoy the video. We're gonna turn on the lights and see how it looks. Whoa! Oh, I'm so happy, guys. Okay, let me help you out here. When you cut an apple, don't cut it on the rocking part. Why? It, it's gonna do what it just did to you, which is fly out and you can cut yourself. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a flat part and can you move that apple? Not near as well, right? Mm -hmm. So try cutting it on a flat spot now. Let's see if that works better for you. Is that easier? So much easier, right? Mm -hmm. So where are you gonna put it now? There you go. You got the right idea. Let's see. Oh, you got it all cut up. Russell's been experimenting in the kitchen today. He's so excited. Wow. What are you gonna do with all those apple chunks? Thank you. Holy cow, this one's gonna be hard. It also takes a lot of muscle. Oh, how do you even do this? Holy cow. Can I try? <laughs> that is, that is heavy. Oh, that's how it gets done. <laughs> there you go. Done. Recently, um, well, not recently, but we moved, and all of us have our own room, and we all want to kind of customize our room how we want it. And I thought it would be really cool, and I just dropped the customization. Um, I thought it'd be really cool to put up LED lights in my room. I did a lot of research, um, actually a lot of research, because if I'm gonna put these up in my room, I want them to be nice. High quality, long lasting, and have a lot of features. I actually found a really good brand, and this isn't a sponsored deal, but I'm just gonna say, uh, Nexi Lumi, and these are one of the top rated um, LED lights. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna see how they look. So I've gotta get my room put together. So most LED lights, you have to control it by, with your phone, but I don't have a phone. So also, Nexi Lumi has a really nice remote that comes with a ton of features and we'll talk more about that later. But this is the box. This is tape, um, more strong tape. And- Is it double-sided? Yeah, double-sided. And then these are the actual lights. Oh, this is so exciting. I got this 65 foot long. And then we've got the connectors, and then the adapter right there. And then all these connections that came with it, which is super excited, guys. Put this in. And then I'm just gonna do this right now, make sure Arrow to arrow. Wow. Let's start getting these things installed. First, we have to move all the books so I can get this all organized. And now we're actually gonna install this thing. So I'm gonna use this double-sided tape for extra strength. Okay, this is gonna take a long time. A long process. Here we go. First glue. Wow, okay, so I didn't want to film the whole thing because that would have taken forever. But I finished putting it on the wall. I am not a professional, so I started on the left side, and then these corners are really hard to connect, so I connected that and went all the way around, all the way around the room. Okay, we're gonna turn on the lights and see how it looks. We've got the remote. All we gotta do now is we'll turn out the lights. We'll even turn off Negan's light. Ooh. Ah. Okay, now it is dark. 
Here we go. Ready? Let's get the plug. Plug it in. Oh! Whoa! Yes! Yes! Okay. Green. Oh, please tell me. Green. What? The remote's not working. Oh no. Oh no, does it have to be like showing? Like, oh, I just put these books all back. It probably has to be showing, doesn't it? Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Let's see if this remote actually works. Where did the remote go? Now I lost the remote. Where did I put the remote? Is that any other books? Oh no. I'm losing everything, guys. I lost the remote. There it is, okay. Please work. Yes! Okay, so it has to be showing. Guys, look, it works now. Russell, turn the lights. <gasps> yes! Okay, so there's blue, there's green. Oh, and then there's like, um, hmm, there's like jump. Let's jump this. Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's like really cool. Whoa, and then there's fade. What? Okay, and then there's fade seven. Okay, that's gotta be my favorite one. Cause it has multiple colors instead of like the three main ones. That's definitely my favorite one. Watch this. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 you see that? Hello, hello, blah, ah! Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> Today is a great day. <laughs> Look, oh, I'm so happy, guys. Oh, that's Yes, I'm so happy. Okay, work. I just got back from grocery shopping. And Chad says he's got a surprise for me downstairs. But I want to know, did you buy those? Mm -hmm. On my Amazon account. Okay. What? All right. I, I got them on my account. So. Okay. It is so different teen shopping now than when... Oh, where did I go? Dwight, let go of my dress. Dwight, let go. Dwight, get off my dress. No. Dwight, move. It's just so different now with teens and shopping than it was when I Okay, this is your remote. <laughs> it's fancy, isn't it? Okay, come here. Where did you even get this idea? Oh, a lot of teens do it. They do? Mm-hmm. Come on. Okay. Okay, come here. Okay. Here, so take the remote and you're gonna press that power button and you're gonna point it in that corner, okay? Ready? Oh, purple! And you can change <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's at the top of it. Whoa! Have you shown everybody this? Uh -huh. So that was this. I had to like get the connections and like the wires and stuff like clicked on. So like all the electricity like, was. Purple. Like, yeah. Why Chad's been a, a guru at figuring things out lately. Okay. And like they have all different kind of modes. So like there's fade, and I know it's like a seizure, but you can turn down the brightness if you want. And watch this. So this is like a music feature. Hello, hello, and then like like hello. And whenever you play music, it turns on the lights. So sing a song for us. Um, <clears throat> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are or where you are. Um, what you are. This is a seizure. Watch this. Up above the world <laughs> so high, like a diamond in the sky. Yeah. It's so I want to in my room. Just I, want, I, want, I want to in my room. Oh my I word. And you can like do it yourself. How much was this? Eighty dollars. I even know. No, but eighty dollars is for like the big pack. Like you can get little packs for like thirty dollars. But all of this was eighty. Well, no, this was sixty plus like shipping. Mom, um, I think I have enough for the little pack that's like thirty. I don't know for the oh, I, I was just super excited to do this. Yeah. Well, I don't think um, people have been in your room. No, no one has. You guys, this is Chad's very first room reveal. Yeah. We're still putting things together. Hey, Chad, Mom, good I job. I think I have enough for the 
nothing oh, like this. Oh, I know. Everyone wants it, I but wanna you know what? I want to make this the coolest from ever. Like, hang up the guitar, and then eventually, eventually, we can maybe do puzzles right here. And, like, I just want to make this a really cool room. Who wants to make a man case? Who wants to put a, a prison mic blanket right there? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. That's who we do. One thing that's been really hard for me to let go of is the kids decorating their room. Russell, really? It's so fun! Hey, I didn't say no. Okay, come here. Let's sit on my yoga mat and have a listen. Not me. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was Chad. No, it was you. Did you want to talk to me or not? I did, but okay. you're not. Well, we got to have a breather. I'm not going to talk to you if you're going to whine. I refuse to listen to children who whine, so I'm helping you get out of your whiny state. When you're ready to talk and not whine, I want to say something to you. Okay. Are you ready to listen? Russell, I don't have a problem with you having money wanting to spend and I don't have a problem with you wanting to get lights. What I do have a problem with is Chad was excited to do something and instead of being happy for him, you just said, I want it. I want it too. Yeah, I was also excited for him. Yeah, yeah, and then you switched right over to I want it and you wanted me to answer you right then and there. You went from wanting it to whining about it, which means you feel entitled to it. I'm not saying, okay, yes, you can have it. We're going to be happy for Chad in the moment. It just sounds weird, be happy for Chad to get my Got some major drama going on. And it's it's not my idea. Like, you have to be happy for me because I made the idea. Like, I got that from multiple friends, so. <sighs> I think we need more yoga. And, and this is part of the, what I'm feeling frustrated with is you just got a brand new bed. Yeah. You have a mattress that fits your bed. I don't have a mattress. You, you got brand new paint, you got shiplap, you got brand new a lamp that's coming, brand new lamps. You got brand new bedding. And you have a bathroom connected to your bedroom. And, and you can't be happy for like more than five minutes for Chad because he got lighting in his room. You're being really defensive and I I totally get what it's like to want what your you know brother has or what your sister has. I I do the same thing. It's not very fun to watch someone else get something and you don't get it. Well, you came up with all that stuff. Yeah, she gave so, it to you. So are you wanting more say in what's in your room? Is that what you're saying? I thought you were pretty happy and excited about it. I didn't know you had any complaints until just now. Until Chad. Until Chad got something. You were completely happy with your room until Chad got something. And Honestly, I validate Russell's feelings because like I know it's not our room, but we want to customize it the way that we want. And I also validate your feelings, Mom, where you want the house to look united and very pretty. And sometimes an eight-year-old and a 15-year-old guy don't have the right definition of pretty rooms. So I get both sides. Thank you, Chad. And Russell, I, again, am going to repeat myself. I'm not saying no. All I'm saying is I don't, I'm not guaranteeing you right in this moment that you can have it. That's all I'm saying. So the difference between rules and boundaries. Rules means you have to do what the rule says. But the truth is I actually can't make Russell or any of my kids do anything. The only thing I can do and control is me. So instead of having rules at our house, we have boundaries. And one of the boundaries is I will not discuss with you if you're whining. Number two, I put a time limit on it. I will talk for about mm, five to 10 minutes. After that, I'm done. So it's been about that long. So I'm done talking about this. And I will choose to leave. 
And I think that's the best way to do it, actually. If I'm you're leaving. triggered in a conversation and if you keep going, it just leads to more contention and more fighting. If you remove yourself, calm yourself down, but always come back to it. Like, if you just leave it like that, then there's always, like, contention. But if you come back to it in a more calm and humble state, then you fix things, you connect more, and it has to be on both sides. There can't be, it's like a negative and a positive. Like, they have to be combined. Can't be two negatives or else they bounce off. Thanks for the reminder. Or two I, I need, I need <laughs> that reminder. Oh, no. Chad's been taking counseling from the lady who's For teaching me now. how to be a life coach. If that's not an endorsement of how amazing she is, I don't know what is. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go back to Russell and finish out this conversation. And we'll go back to it when I'm centered. Okay, bye guys. That's gonna be a long video. <laughs>